during this match. And we enter round three, scheduled for 12, a heavyweight non-title bout. Holyfield sticking the jab, and it's effective. Let's see if he follows it up with the right. Stop! Of course, uh, his key combination is, uh, Alice pointed out, the double left hook to the body and to the head. And so far, that uh, left hand seems okay after the shoulder surgery. He's 41 years of age. You can't always sustain what you want over the course of a round when you're 41. And here comes Tony back again. Tony with the nice long jab, but one and done. Excellent right by James Tony. A counter punch. And this fight is now settling into what we thought it would be for however long it lasted. And that was two men pot shotting each other and it right in front of each other, throwing and landing. Holyfield told us at our meeting with him that he would try this uh, several times during the fight, try and get Tony, lure him in so he could counter him. And that's what he's trying to do now. Tony's not getting hit with any counter punches. He's actually landing a few of his own, including that beautiful left hook on the inside. Tony acknowledging something to his corner. And then he got hit with a combination Don't because hold. of it. Don't hold. Watch your head, Evander. Watch your head. Stop. Well, you know the... Uh, the history of Evander Holyfield, as far as the head is concerned, Mike Tyson, John Ruiz, I see him, Rockman, uh, could tell you about it. Left right combination upstairs did have full impact by Holyfield. It is very hard to hit Tony with a perfect stop, right stop, hand. Stop, 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 stop. Hey, man, you got to keep your head on his head. Jane right? 80 warning Holyfield about the head, uh, jumping right on that issue. Of course, uh, a lot of fighters complaining that Holyfield is dirty others say it just gets rough on the inside and that's the kind of fighter he is tony said he's very prepared for that and he, he just wipes off the sweat off the shoulder as if to say to holyfield you're not hurting me a confident james well, tony to this you. point that's for sure he is gaining a confidence Inside Benny Lynch. Get some talk in there, little fucker. Short. Short. Well, effective on the outside. Up. You don't got to go in front of you. Standing up straight when you're throwing your hook. That's why I'm getting under it. Bend your legs. And you, you, and you hit these corners. Watch for his overhand right. He, he threw it one time. Early in the round, James Holyfield was able to do something you seldom can do against Tony. Land a good right hand, but you see how well Tony slips these punches. This is where you got to step to your left and crank left hooks. Holyfield couldn't do it. And later on in the round, dare I say the hand speed of James Tony, which is apparently at this juncture a little better than Evander Holyfield. No matter what pounds he's fighting at, uh, the right hand gets in. Tony's hand speed is making a difference right now. I'm not saying it's dazzling at this point, but it's certainly better than Holyfield's. Tony's motion toward his corner was actually directed toward the judge over there. We are told in trying to indicate to the judge that he hit Evander Holyfield. He's working the judges. Tony unleashing a let go, let go, one hole, one hole. He one may have hurt Holyfield. Combination to left. Effective on Holyfield's head. Look how low Holyfield's hand is, Steve. Tony continues to have success here at the beginning of round four. He's landing. Now the infighting as Tony backs up, gets himself some leverage, and fires the straight right. That's your head, Evander. Tony looking a lot better. 
since the first round. Holyfield is doing what he did against Bird, coming inside and smothering his punches. Could that mean the left shoulder is bothering him again? He can't keep the left up. That's when he does it, when he can't keep that left up and jab his way. He has to come inside. And he's kept the left low and Tony's hit it with right hands. It might be affecting him negatively. Holyfield to be careful with the head. That left hook blocked by Holyfield. A very interesting round to score. Time! I thought it was another good round for Tony. That's what he does. He counters off those ropes effectively. Holyfield getting some of those shots in well, some being blocked. This is vintage James Tony. And look at him, land the uppercut. It is so hard to hit him when he's in this posture. And you see, actually, a lot of Holyfield's punches not getting in there, even though he did land some. That is quintessential James Tony. Holyfield has a fight on his hands water. here with water, James water. Tony. As we head into round five, scheduled for 12, Tony now brimming with confidence, tripling up on the left, firing a straight right. And Tony is getting off first. There's a big overhand right to the chin, a left hook to the other side of Holyfield's face. Flicking the jab, doing it all, twisting and turning, James Tony all of a sudden seems to have Holyfield in his pocket. Oh, what a heavy right hand show to the chin of Holyfield. Big shot by Tony. Another one over the top. That oh. left of Holyfield's has gone so low, the lead right by Tony is a slam dunk for him. Press row scoring. It's all knotted up. I have it uh, three rounds to one, but the fourth round, a very close round, and it, I could see it being even after four rounds. That is not out of the question. That fourth round was a close round. Watch your head, Evander. <laughs> Tony off to a tremendous start in this round. I'm of the belief Tony is slightly ahead at this point. when he's on the inside here should be taking that step to the left and make it work. Instead, it's Tony with the double left. Well, no 